One of the officers you can see in the video closed their fist and just simply started striking him and struck him repeatedly. This video of Eric Menifee is from June 2nd, 2017 in the booking area of the Seminole County Jail. His attorney filed a lawsuit alleging his client's constitutional rights were violated by excessive and unreasonable force by four officers. I'm shocked by this behavior. Uh, Mr. Menifee was deliberately and brutally attacked by these corrections officers. In a statement to West 2 News, the sheriff's office says Menifee began to cause a disturbance while in the booking area. Menifee was given loud verbal commands to sit down or he would be taken to a holding cell, which he refused. But his attorney says Menifee did sit down after he was concerned with the aggressive posture of the officers. And so he took his arms and he put them underneath the arms of the chair. The sheriff's office says additional force was necessary to get him out of the chair. A deputy administered distractor strikes to Menifee's back left shoulder, which caused him to release his grip on the chair. These distractor strikes were reasonably necessary to get non-compliant Menifee under control. At this point, the officers each grabbed an arm. Rather than standing him up and handcuffing him, they threw him to the ground and then let the beating continue. Once deputies gained control, Mr. Menifee was moved to a holding cell and later moved to a medical unit. Before Eric Menifee hired a lawyer, he filed a formal complaint. But the review findings revealed no violations of policy or written directives by the involved staff members. If the sheriff's procedures allowed that, then the procedures are wrong. That just should not be tolerated in our society. The trial is slated to start June 1st in federal court in Orlando. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, West 2 News.